Hi everyone, welcome to Live at Five. I'm in the car on the way home um, after a really busy day. And uh, I just want to share something with you. During lunchtime, I went to the beauticians. Let's face it, us girls are thrilled that the beauticians and hairdressers are open. And I was chatting to my lovely beautician, Saoirse, and she was asking me some advice um, on behalf of her friend who wants to buy a property. And she said, Regina, is now a good time to buy? She said, when's a good time to buy? And I said, well, you buy when you need to buy. That's what I think. And when you're ready. And she was telling me about so many of her friends who've saved a substantial deposit during COVID and have actually expediated their savings because obviously we've all been in lockdown. And um, I said, what's your friend doing? Is she renting? Yes. So I said, so more than likely, she's going to spend about 12,000 over the next year on rent. And she was worried that now wasn't a good time to buy. And I said, well, why? What is she waiting for? And she said, look, my friend is waiting for the prices to drop. I said, look, folks, I don't think the prices are going to drop. I don't see it happening in the next two years. But who am I to say that? I'm I'm not a voyeurist. But if you look at the stock levels, they are at an almighty low and the supply um you know is is really down and there's a lot of pent up demand and if you look at the whole working from home thing means that people have so much more flexibility so i think there's more people who want to move um than pre covid and um so look if you don't believe me why don't you sign up to our webinar which is basically going to be on uh, the 25th of um, May and Jim Parr, um, economist, Irish economist who um, is really, really good and talks a lot of common sense, is going to speak about the market and how he sees it over the next two years. Um, now, let's face it, the economists got it wrong. I know they did because they all took the market down. When COVID hit, they said that nobody's going to buy and prices are going to plummet. I heard one economist say they were going to drop by 50%. So he admits he and his colleagues got it wrong. Um, so look, um, when is a good time to buy now? What do you need to do if you want to buy? You need to have your money ready. You need to have your mortgage approval. And you really need to know, I figure, what you don't want. That's actually even more important than what you do want. Hi, Pascal. And I met somebody recently who was thinking of selling and wanted to move. And I said, why don't you get in the car and drive around the estates and see, you know, where you could see yourself living um, and see what suits your budget. Um, I had a family friend on to me earlier. Um, she wants to sell her property. And I said, well, have you got somewhere to go? No. Well, I said, you need to figure that out before you sell. Where are you going to go? So look, if there's anything we can do to help and you're looking for some advice, we're always here to help. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Daniel. And thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you all have a lovely evening. Slongafold.